In my video today, I'm going to show you how you can build a P&L using the InfoRiver Custom Visual. The website says it's the fastest way to build a report in Power BI, and I'm going to prove it to you by showing you how to build a P&L in just five minutes. So this is the P&L that I'll use for my five minute demo. This is from the AdventureWorks database. This is not a tutorial. I do have a separate video where I'll step through every single step that you need to be able to build this P&L. This is just a demo of showing you how it can be done quickly. So this is an overview of the data that I'll be using to build this P&L. This is standard data coming from a typical financial system. So there's a chart of accounts. There's also uh, general ledger entries and a number of other tables of data that are used for various reporting needs. It is important that you have good quality data in order to be able to accurately build a P&L the first time. OK, let's get started. In this particular demo, I'm going to be using the professional version of InfoRiver. The first thing I need to do is to add the visual to the canvas, and I always go into full screen mode before doing any work. I will use the template to start my design, so I'll start the design. I like this look and feel. I'll select the position of the subtotals. I'm happy with the defaults. I like the like theme. I'm going to turn off pagination, click next, and now I'm ready to build. So the first thing to do is to bring the structure of the PL into the visual. So I'll click on the visual and I'll bring in the header and subheader into my visual. And immediately you can see that the high level structure of my PL is already in place. Now, without writing any DAX at all, I'm going to come over to the general ledger and I'll bring the amount into the value section and Immediately the numbers are visible within the visual. Just let me zoom out a little bit more so you can see. Okay, so the next thing to do is to actually rebuild the structure that I had in the other PL. And this is what's very complex in Power BI, but it's very easy using the Info River Custom Visual. The first thing I need to do is to change the sign of these two items here. So I'm going to select the returns and adjustments, come up to the advanced tab, and I'm going to invert the sign. I'll do the same for the discounts, and then I also need to change the behavior because at the moment these numbers are just negative, but I need to make sure that these numbers are subtracted from here. So there's a simple setting available under Home Display, and I can come under here, and I'll make sure that the change in sign influences the total. So now you can see 127 is the correct answer. So the next step is to put a net sales total. Very difficult to do in Power BI, very easy to do in Info River. All I need to do is select the first row, come up to the Advanced tab, and I can insert a row just by selecting Calculated Row. I'm going to call this my net sales. And just using the inbuilt language from Info River, I can select and reference any other number within my visual. So in this case, the net sales is the revenue. So I just have to select revenue and I'll click create. And there I have my subtotal. All right, so the next thing I'd like to do in this particular PL is I'd like to change the order. So I want the cost of sales to appear further up in the list. So it's just a matter of clicking over here and dragging the item up, take it up above the operating expenses. So now I have revenue, cost of sales, operating expenses, and I'll also change the order of other income expenses and the taxes line. Okay, so that's generally the correct order now. The next step is to put a gross margin calculation. So the gross margin is, in this case, my net sales minus my cost of sales. So same as before, I can now go ahead and add an extra row by insert row, a calculated row. I'll give it a good name. So this will be gross margin. And my gross margin will be a formula being the net sales. Remembering the net sales is the formula I wrote previously. So net sales, and I'll subtract the cost of sales. So next on my list of things to do is to add an operating profit line. So operating profit is gross margin minus operating expenses. So I click on the data point before the insertion. Click here, insert row, calculated row. And my formula will be the gross margin from my previous calculation, subtract the operating expenses. The next step in this PL is I have to address this issue around interest expense. 
it's recorded in the database as a positive number, but it needs to be treated negative. So the same as before, I select the line, I come up to the advanced setting, invert the sign. Once I've inverted the sign, I just make sure that the display is correctly including it in the total, which in this case it is, and so that's now correct. And then I can go ahead and add the final line within the PL, which is my net income. So I just come here and go to the advanced insert row calculated row and write my formula, which will be the operating profit. I have to add the other income and subtract the tax. And when I do that, I come up with the same number as before. The last thing I'll do is I'll just come up and edit the header and I'll just call this. And there we have it, the final PL in under five minutes.